Hi, today I'll be showing you how to make a vertical striped kitchen towel. The supplies you'll need are a medium worsted weight cotton yarn. I'm using Lily Sugar and Cream. I have two skeins of Ecru and one in denim indigo. An H hook, five millimeter, a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. You're gonna start by making a chain of 61. If you're a beginner to crochet and need help with making a chain, you can enroll in my free course before the loops. I'll put a link in the description below. So you have a chain of 61. You're going to half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. And in each chain across to the end. And continue working a half double crochet in each chain to the end and I'll meet you back. Okay, we're to the end of the first row. You're going to work the last half double crochet. Chain two. Turn your work. We're ready to work row two. And this whole towel is a repeat of row two. You just change colors for the stripes. So the chain two does not count as your first stitch. So you work a half double crochet in the first stitch. Every stitch across the row. You just keep repeating that for row two and all the way to row ten, and I'll meet you when you get those first ten rows finished. Okay, now we have 10 rows done. We're on our last stitch. And then we're going to change the color. So you would do just like you were starting a half double crochet. Snip the yarn with a tail long enough to weave in later. And get your new color. And finish the last half double with the new color. And chain two, turn your work, and then work row 11 the same way that you worked the previous 10 rows. Half double crochet in each stitch across. Finish row 11 and I'll meet you at the start of row 12.
Okay, we're at the end of row 11. We're going to change colors again. So we're going to start the last stitch. Snip the yarn. And go back to the ecru color. Chain two. And turn our work. For rows 12 through 14, you're going to do the same thing, alternating colors, one row of ecru, one row of blue, ecru. Okay, so when you're done alternating the colors and you get to row 14, I'll meet you back. Okay, we're at the end of row 14. So now you should have 10 rows of ecru, one indigo, one ecru, one indigo, and row 14 was in ecru. And we're going to change colors again. So finish the last stitch. Snip the yarn. Switch back to indigo. Chain two. Turn your work. The next four rows are going to be worked in indigo. So rows 15 through 18. Half double crochet in each stitch. I'll meet you at the end of row 18. We just finished row 18. We're going to change color back to ecru again. Next four rows, you're going to alternate one row in each color. So it's going to go ecru, indigo, ecru, indigo. And I'll meet you back at the end of row 22. At the end of row 22, you're going to switch back to ecru. Chain 2. Turn your work. And the next 10 rows are all going to be worked in ecru, so rows 23 through 33 are all done in the ecru color. And that'll be the end of your towel. So I'll meet you back at the end of row 33. When you finish row 33, fasten off. And weave in all your ends. And now you have a nice vertically striped kitchen towel. 
I designed these towels for a blog post and on that post you can find a second pattern for a horizontal striped kitchen towel and some fun ways to package these as gifts. If you enjoyed making this towel, leave me a comment below and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.